Well, as we head to those elections and the Fed meeting, I want to bring in a special guest. He is John Snow, the Treasury Secretary under President George W. Bush, and he's now the Chairman of Cerberus Capital Management. Uh, good morning, Mr. Secretary. Great to have you with us. Hey, thank you. Good to be with you. Okay, so let me ask you first off. We had a guest yesterday who said basically the Fed is running the same monetary policies that we saw on, when you were Treasury Secretary. We are basically stoking more bubbles with quantitative easing into the emerging markets, into the commodity sphere. Your reaction? Well, uh, we have to go back to the mandate that the Fed operates under, which is uh, promote full employment, promote growth uh, close to the potential of the American economy, uh, while maintaining uh, reasonable price stability. The price targets are inflation of roughly 2 percent, inflation's below that, and the American economy is performing way, way, way below its potential, and we have uh, horrendously high unemployment rate. So it's it's uh, natural, it seems to me, that uh, that that uh, there would be this talk of uh, of further uh, QE2, further uh, further. It's uh, uh, well, I want to make sure I have you clear. It's natural, you're saying. Sure, it's understandable. It's their mandate. The Fed has a mandate to promote full employment, and employment is what at nine point. Unemployment is 9.6. Right, almost 10 percent. The, uh, the American economy is, is performing way below its uh, potential, and the Fed looks at that, the gap, the so-called gap uh, between current output and potential output. That's a huge gap. Right. Uh, and that means we're just not getting a lot of output in the economy, and we're not getting a lot of prosperity that we... We, we should be having. So and, and, it's natural. It's understandable the Fed would be looking at this. Okay, it's natural. However, uh, what do you think is the cause of that, Mr. Secretary? Because the companies seem to be doing what they need to be doing. They're trying to grow their top line. They say it's Washington that's screwing things up for them. Well, I think there's, there's uh, a pervasive uncertainty, uh, unfortunately, that American business people uh, labor under that's the product of Washington. Sure, look, we just had Dodd-Frank. It's going to take years to implement Dodd-Frank, and, and bankers and people in the financial sector are asking themselves, what are the rules of the road here for us? Mm -hmm. uh, that's got to be affect, uh, affect this, uh, uh, lending practices. Right. Uh, we've got the health care bill. Uh, not clear how it's going to be implemented, but pretty clear that it's going to apply to a lot more companies. And they're looking, uh, they're, they're looking at it and saying, uh, what do we do? Right. Uh, so it's, and yeah. not, not hiring. And then you go to uh, EPA and environmental policy affecting the energy industry and uh, power industry and so on and you have the same pervasive uncertainty about rules right so and, and I hear you say that key word which we've heard over and over again mr. secretary which is uncertainty uh, let me read for you um, an op-ed this morning in the New York Times by Paul Krugman okay because people are saying are the Republicans are Republicans gonna sweep the sweep Congress okay he says quote if the Republicans control the house we will get the worst of both worlds they'll refuse to do anything to boost the economy now claiming to be worried about the deficit <laughs> while simultaneously increasing long-run deficits with irresponsible tax cuts. Irresponsible tax cuts. Well, you know, uh, uh, it, it seems to me that uh, the, uh, the important task of the next Congress is to make sure we don't get a tax increase. A tax increase at this, this time would, be, uh, would really be disastrous when the American economy is underperforming as, as much as it is now and unemployment is as high as it is. Uh, uh, if the elections go as they're, uh, they're seen to go by the pollsters, you're going to have a lot of new faces, a lot of very competent, experienced legislators in key jobs. Dave Camp at, uh, at House Ways and Means, and uh, Paul Ryan at, at Budget, and Eric Cantor is Majority Leader, and John Boehner. Th these, are, these are experienced legislators. But how uh, Paul Ryan has a blueprint for America. Right. Uh, and, 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 uh, that and, if that, and if that happens, Mr. Secretary, then, uh, then you're confident that this tax issue will be resolved and we won't get the tax hike that you're saying is, quote, disastrous, right? Well, I think it is disastrous, and I hope that uh, the pollsters are right. I hope we see uh, new leaders in the Congress here in a, in a, 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 as a result of the election, and I think those new leaders will have a game plan that will put us on a better course. And uh, just really quickly, uh, describe disastrous to us, because, we, I mean, what are, you, what are you talking about? Are you talking about another recession or what? Oh, I think you could easily have a double dip if we have, a, have, have tax increases. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the economy getting worse rather than getting better. Okay. All right. Mr. Uh, Secretary, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I appreciate you. it. Yeah. That was John Snow, the Treasury Secretary, former Treasury Secretary under George W. Bush.